What's up everybody? We are going to do an unboxing today. Today we have a drone by Airhawks. This is Star Wars Millennium Falcon. Now this is the Disney version, not the Lucas version of it, but I seen this um, the other day, so I thought it was pretty cool and I figured we'd try it out. Now it says that this has authentic lights and sounds. It's even got hyperspace mode and a bunch of other stuff. I don't know, I thought it looked really cool, so I bought it. Let's check this out. Here we have the money I'm fucking. This turns on, it actually does have lights on it. Front, the rear. I think that's really cool. I like that. Nice lightweight. This is made out of styrofoam, not plastic. Um, it's got four motors. To the top is the power button, also the charging port. So, take here. This is our remote. I thought this was pretty cool too. It's all themed design, got a little window um, to the top of it. It's got the little sound buttons that you can use for it. Um, batteries on the back. It does take six AA batteries. Really confused about this. I mean, I get it, you can charge it if you put rechargeable batteries in there. But I think they should have just made it with a LiPo battery in it and recharged it from then because, I don't know, that just didn't make much sense. Anyways, to charge the drone itself, you have on this side of the remote, it will pop open, this wire comes out, and it just plugs into the top. You do, however, have to turn on the remote in order for it to charge. So if you don't turn this on, no power. Make a liar out of me. There we go. I guess it works either way. Okay. So we're gonna take we're gonna put the wire back way inside here. Tuck that in. It doesn't really clip down too solid, but I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's just a toy. The um, control on it for the height is more of the graduated style. Like you, it doesn't have the spring in it vertically. It does have it horizontally, but you can put it somewhere and just leave it there to maintain the height or your altitude, whatever you want to refer to it as. So we're going to get this out of the way. <coughs> Star Wars drone. Star Wars energy drink. Yeah. We're gonna turn on the drone. We're gonna turn on the remote. Got the little sounds coming on it. Yeah, here. Not very loud, but a little laser cannon sound. C-3PO. Some more laser cannons. <laughs> There's definitely Chewie. That's amazing. TIE Fighter. That sounds to be the extent of it. That's just the uh, light speed button over there. Okay, so we got this all hooked up. We're going to give it a shot and see how it goes. Maybe it just push a little forward to see if the motor if the motors do start. Okay, so we're gonna bring it up nice. See if I can get it to hover here and see what the action is, how stable it is and everything. Um, the thing I was looking at my finger is in the middle. I'll put it on two fingers. It is pretty well balanced. So it shouldn't have too much of a problem being stable. We're gonna check this out real quick. That is awesome. Alright. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the Millennium Falcon has launched. This is really cool. the greatest thing ever. Too bad the Millennium Falcon never exploded. Alright, so there is the Millennium Falcon Star Wars Air Hogs drone. Um, not a bad little toy. <laughs> Security system on board, I guess. I don't know. Uh, it's pretty entertaining. I like it. Um, I don't think we're going to do a, an outdoor thing. I think we'll put this back in the box and set it off to the side because this is kind of a collectible, you know, whatever, but again, there goes the security system. I have to disable, there we go. So, anyways, I'm done yapping. Um, Air Hogs, Millennium Falcon, hope you guys liked it. I thought it was cool. It was something I definitely had to check out. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.